Hey guys, it's Colink here and today I wanted to go over something about the Ranger Keys and the device I'm working on that will read these Ranger Keys. So lately, I've been thinking either if I should use a color sensor. That's more keys, that's, that's what I'm expecting to get. Or a IF, RFID reader which I have right here right now so yeah so this is the um RFID RC522 module that can read IF um tags like this one right here and I think I will have to open these up and get the chips inside because the circle right now is like a size of a quarter but the real chip inside here is the size of a dime and uh, I actually tested the size of a dime and they're able to fit around here which I want to put the ID tag right here so the ranger keys can be read by the RFID reader so they so I want it to be restricted by color but yet at the same time I feel like that would take too much store um, flash memory so I might be able to get away with that by using the color sensor right here. But I tried working with the code but I had trouble working with it because of the library called average.h. If anyone know how to fix that, please comment down below. And if anyone knows a good Arduino code for the RFID to read multiple tags like I mean a lot and will take a much storage that'd be really great and the next part I want to talk about is the microcontroller chip itself so since a ESP8266 has four millibytes I'm not really sure if that will will fit all the information of the Ranger keys because they're gonna be a lot like around 21, 50, 166 I'm not really sure yet but I want to make sure I can fit all that and I also want to use an OLED display to, sim to show the symbol of the key so it will show the symbol and activate the color of the Ranger so one chip I was thinking of getting is the Wemos D1 Mini Pro, which has 16 millibytes of external flash memory, and the thing is like really super tiny too. It goes around for four dollars and seventy three cents, with a good price for me, I guess. So, okay, I was gonna use a new a node. MCU version 3 because I thought it will have 32 millibytes of RAM, but it only has 32 millibits of RAM. I bought two of it just in case for another project. I might use it for the Morpher, but I'm not really sure yet. And I also got, I'm also working on getting more keys like the Shinkangers, which is our Samurai Space Sentai. Which has the pink ranger I want to work on because I don't have a pink one yet. And I also want, I'm also getting these guys next week. So I have, I'll probably have more videos next week to show. Which has Genki Violet and Genki Copper, which is a white ranger. It's pretty cool. I'm really excited for Genki Violet because he, I've seen clips of him and he's pretty cool. It'll be cool to make a code for him to turn into Genki Violet and make like a weapon that will activate the suit to have claws and and the box and all that. So that's what I wanted to go over with you guys about. That's pretty much it. As always, please like and subscribe and comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.